Right now, China's detained over a million Uyghurs and other Turkey Muslims into concentration camps. They are forced to denounce Islam, adopt atheism, and pledge allegiance to the Chinese state. They would spend hours on end chanting in their crowded cells, there is no such thing as religion, or all hail the Chinese state, or all hail Chinese President Xi Jinping. And if the detainees disobey, or if there's any type of resistance, there is torture being used. There are um, at least 800,000 and possibly up to a couple of million um, uh, folks in these uh, yeah. detention facilities. Nails are being pulled out, teeth are being pulled out. They're using snakes to interrogate. People are being beaten until they're dead. They're being sterilized, a method used in genocide. They're forced to sit on what's called a tiger chair, where they're clamped down on this chair for hours on end, oftentimes in solitary confinement. People are being sent to these camps for random reasons. One of them could easily be, you are in contact with someone abroad. You have a family member abroad. You engage in religion. So if you pray, if you mention the word God in your in your speech, if you fast, any type of indication that you are practicing religion, that is enough for you to be sent to the camps. And thousands of people have actually been transferred from these camps to prisons. One of my relatives in early 2017 got put inside one of these camps. Last November, he came out dead. One of my relatives got sent to a camp because he went to the United States to attend my cousin's wedding in 2014. Last August, he got sentenced to 15 years of prison. Many of my relatives, we don't know if they're alive or dead. And there's not a single Uyghur who doesn't have at least one family member in these camps or some form of detention or prison. The worst part is when someone dies, their bodies are not taken to their families, but rather the bodies are cremated. And that's another way for China to hide the evidence of bodies coming out of these camps. And it doesn't give us a clear idea of how many people are dying. All of this stuff is happening in secret. The children of these detainees have been sent to state-run orphanages and boarding schools where they are taught to hate their own religion, identity, and are forced to speak Chinese, are subject to abuse and torture. The parents don't know where their kids are. Most towns and villages in East Turkestan are almost empty. Around 70 to 80% of the civilians are all gone. You walk through the street and it's eerily silent because most people are in some form of detention or prison. Schools and factories are now being transformed into these concentration camps. The entire nation of East Turkestan has essentially become a dungeon for its people because China monitors their every action, even in the homes. So there are millions of hand government caters who are living in Uyghur homes to make sure they're not engaging in religion and to assess their political views. Practicing Islam is completely banned. So for me to even say something like, oh, I'll see you tomorrow, God willing, is prohibited because you said the word God. Even having an Islamic name is a crime. So you have to change your name from a name like Muhammad or Fatima to an ethnic Han name. Thousands of Uyghur women are also forced to marry ethnic Han Chinese men. And this is another way to get rid of the next generation of Uyghurs. So why is China cracking down on Uyghurs and Turkey Muslims specifically? East Turkestan is really rich in minerals and resources. So by putting people into camps and basically carrying out an ethnic cleansing, China is attempting to maintain tight control over the mineral rich land. You might wonder why the world has been really silent about this whole issue. And it's because of a few reasons. Number one, China has tightly controlled its media. So a lot of what's happening can't really be revealed outside to the rest of the world. Number two, even when people know about it, or even when governments know about it, they are forced to remain silent due to Chinese pressure and their economic and strategic ties to the country. So the question is, what can you do? What we need you to do is raise awareness because right now, most of the world has no idea that this is happening. Pressure your government leaders to acknowledge China's occupation of East Turkestan and its systematic campaign to wipe out the Uyghurs and other people of East Turkestan. Support your local Uyghur communities. They're in dire need of international support. Come out to their protests, organize protests in front of Chinese embassies and bodies that can actually take action to challenge China's ethnic cleansing of the Uyghurs.